Hey everybody, Jake and Mike here at Banner Engineering. We're here today to talk to you about the newest offering from Banner. This is called the DXM 1200X2 Gateway. This is a wireless controller and a wired controller. It Can is. Can you tell me a little more about this thing? Absolutely. Now, picture a DXM R90 and a DXM 1200 wireless controller. We match those together and here we have the DXM 1200X2. Sweet. So does that mean that I can do multiple topologies? Absolutely. Let's Wired talk about wireless? that. Wired and wireless? Wired and wireless. But let's talk about the features first. Awesome. All right. As mentioned before, this really is a DXM R90 and a DXM 1200 wireless controller all rolled up into one. You've got your five Modbus ports like the DXM R90, so ports one, two, three, four, and then zero down here. You also have your decode Ethernet cable right here for connecting to Ethernet networks. If you need to jump that network, you can use a cellular um, radio. And here's your antenna for that here on the left. You can also uh, have the ISM radio network in here as well. So you're talking to not only wired networks, but also wireless networks, whether those are performance or multi-hop. You've got your LCD screen here, which you can configure your XML to actually see data right on the display there. And we also have this new RGB indicator that you can configure for alarm states right here at the device. That's awesome. So can I order this? without the radio? You sure can. You, there is a, a model number, just the DXM1200X2, um, which can just be your, your traditional gateway for, um, for wired Modbus lines. Okay. Um, you also have the screen there so you can view your IP address when you need to. And that's a little differentiator between that and the r 90 And the R90, right? So it's now, this really is your DXM R90, but with a display and an RGB indicator wow. matched up right in the device. That's awesome. Yeah. So we got a conveyor application today that we're solving with some vibration and some current monitoring, mm -hmm. right? Uh, two standard banner sensors usually that we that we offer in the wired world. That's the QM30 VT2 vibration sensor and an S15C CT-MQ current. That's sensor, right. Right. So what we're doing is monitoring this motor here that moves the roller across for the conveyor, um, and as you can see, that's wired directly in a, to a parallel block. That parallel block is going into one of the ports in the wired world of the DXM 1200X2. Um, so I'm pretty familiar with that, but it's pretty cool though that I, I can do an extra um, aspect of indication here. That's right. right? So this is, this is really, I can actuate this light, alarm off this yeah. light using kind of the same logic that I could use with the DXM R90 X1. That's right. It's something we haven't been able to do before with wireless controllers, right? Which is pretty awesome. Yeah. But now, what I don't understand is why do we have a little serial radio on the other side of it? Well, let's talk about that. All right, on the other side of this conveyor, we actually have the same thing going on that we're monitoring right directly here at the controller. We're monitoring vibration and current over there, as well as indication of any alarm states, as Jake mentioned before. But in this particular case, we're not going to wire a serial Modbus line all the way to the other side of the conveyor. We're going to just cut that cable and make it wireless using these R70 nodes. So that's what we're doing over there. So we're actually not only uh, monitoring directly here at the controller with the serial Modbus line, but we're also monitoring across the conveyor with the same thing, kind of a cookie cutter or copy paste of the same network. Now, wireless. From my understanding, that that is more of a simple wire replacement. That's absolutely right. That's right. what Banner's really, really great at, and we're doing it again here with this controller. Again, we can monitor very quickly here with the wired Modbus line. So if you're looking to get, um, you know, one second sample rates, things like that, you can do that here right at controller. And then we're monitoring more condition monitoring on the other side uh, with the R70 wireless monitoring node and that same topo or that same uh, network of sensors on the other side of the conveyor coming now, back to the controller. Correct me if I'm wrong, that requires power on the other side of that R70 link. Right? That is correct. So in this particular case, where you do have available power, you want to use that R70 node. Again, copy that same set of sensors, but you're, you can power that, uh, which is why you can power that indicator over there as well. But what happens when you have something that's too far away or uh, there isn't any power available? What can we do there, Jake? I don't know, use a battery? We can, and w that's what we're doing even further down the conveyor. Let's take a look at that real quick. All right, so further down the conveyor, where you are using a wireless performance node, so it's that CM1L that you may have heard of, which uh, takes in the inputs of a current sensor as well as the vibration sensor. It's the exact same job. That's right. That's right. We're making those pockets of, of data islands um, and bringing them all back to the controller using several networks. Again, we're using a performance wireless network over there. If it were multi-hop, that we can absolutely do that. We can throw a multi-hop radio inside this controller as well. We could do it that way, so you can stretch all across your plant or, or wherever you might be using repeaters and things like that. Um, we're doing that line replacement, uh, wire replacement, 
with the uh, the R70 notes here, and then we're doing the wired version of it right here at the controller. Now, but again, we had that performance network um, using batteries for those places that you know doesn't have a power readily available, or uh, the location of the asset maybe a, a, um, away from from power like that. Which so. is maybe why we're not yeah. indicating over there with one of those WOS lights. Exactly. So where are we going to indicate that? We can actually indicate that alarm directly back here at the controller using the RGB indicator um, that comes inherent with that device. So again, we can we can. Uh, understand what's going on within our operations with indicators and alarm states at any point in this, as well as back here at home, right at the DXM uh, X2. And you solve a lot of problems in different ways, right? Ex it's all right. subjective to the application, yeah. right? But the power of this device is really you're not limited to no. any topology. I like to call it the no sacrifice device, right? We can do anything with this one controller. We're using one gateway to do this all. And if you threw a, a multi-hop radio in this thing, you could probably cover an entire plant, whether it's wired uh, assets or wired monitoring or wireless monitoring. You can do that all with one controller. That's awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah. We really appreciate your time today. The uh, X2 is an exciting product. I hope you guys check it out.